We are only up to fight number three. Are you ready for fight number three? <laughs> Introducing first, Angel Lopez Negren. Gotta say, that is a gnarly name, Angel Lopez. <laughs> It certainly is. At the tender age of 22, walking out for his first time fighting out a corporate box in the valley. I was actually talking with uh, Dominic uh, Simon before at the back, and uh, he was saying, mate, this uh, angel is prepped and ready to go. Really, really crisp hands. I'm really looking forward to see how he uh, kicks it in place here tonight. So again, Jamie, we've got a quick second to, to chat. How was your uh, your boxing match? Did you oh. find it was much different between jumping in the MMA cage? It, it was very different. Like, you know, you got to wear shoes, and I had to wear a box, which was very strange. Um, the first couple of rounds, I was kind of like, what the hell is this? But then after that, I just kind of opened up and, and obviously won the title and fought at home. But yeah, it's very different to being in the cage. It didn't, didn't really feel like home, so... Um, yeah, a lot of people think it's just combat sports, but it's not. Your stance is different, and your approach, absolutely different. everything's different. Yeah, yep, yep. A lot more head movement, and you know, with MMA, you can kind of get away with throwing single strikes, but in boxing, you absolutely cannot. So, well, you can a bit, but that was a lot of fun. All right, and Angel getting some words from his coach, there being Tim Zosh, once again from Court Rocks in the Valley. I'm really looking forward to this one. So one of the things he's been working on a lot is his takedown defense. So Corporate Box have an extremely awesome boxing program. So I really like the idea of he's going to want to be able to stand, uh, stay up um, striking and uh, spend as minimal time on the ground as well. But uh, that's the main thing in difference he says being uh, in place. He also really enjoys the, tra uh, the hard training. So this is, for him is just another routine out in the cage. Fighting under the C-Class rules again, so we've got the shin pads and no striking to the head as well. And his opponent in the red corner, Martin O'Donnell! Yeah, Angel Lopez looking very American History X right now. <laughs> and here we have Martin O'Donnell walking out from fight, from, from tribal MMA. Cracking walkout song. This gets uh, this gets the crowd pumped. Well, he is from Scotland, so it's fitting, isn't it, this song? I don't know this song and I'm dancing to it. <laughs> <laughs> so here we have a featherweight fight, which means we're going to have a lot of quick, crisp striking, quick movement. They're not going to be in one place for too long. Second fighter now coming out of tribal MMA. Always massive supporters of XFC from day one. Love the Birch family, love the tribal crew. They're always such high quality fighters, you know, they're always very highly skilled. Definitely, one of the things he's been saying is focusing on is his BJJ and grappling, which is pretty much the opposite to what Angel was, Angel was saying before. So. This could go one or two ways, but in saying that, we also know that Tribal come with well-rounded fighters. Yeah, absolutely. They've got a really good program up there on the Sunshine Coast. And again, when you've got guys like Connor Birch always setting the benchmark in the gym, it's pretty easy to, to see that benchmark and, and try and reach that level yourself, isn't it? Yeah, and, and in Connor's last bout, he put on an absolute clinic. Um, so you know that these guys, were, fight. Yeah, these guys are in absolutely great hands. Um, both of the father-son duo up there for coaching, but he'll be getting great commentary from the background in terms of what to do. Yeah, I, I obviously make it no secret that I think I'd love to adopt Connor Birch. I love the bloke, uh, and his uh, his um, defense on the last show was possibly one of the most complete uh, MMA performances we've seen in the XFC cage. Yeah. This is an amateur featherweight fight with C-class rules. Three by three minute rounds. Introducing first in the blue corner. Weighing in at 65 kilos. With an amateur record of one win, no loss. Fighting out of corporate box, Fortitude Valley. Angel Lopez Negro.
and his opponent in the red corner. He weighed in at 65.4 kilograms. He has an amateur record of zero wins and one loss. Training at a tribal MMA. Give it up for Martin the Brave Idano. Your referee in charge is Jamie Hickow. Wow. What Martin gives up in height, he certainly packs on in muscle. Doesn't he? I wonder if Angel's going to be able to use his uh, reach advantage here. Here we go, touching gloves, round one. Oh, oh big kick. kick. Oh, that one stuck through. Oh, that one too. I like Angel's long stance, sitting down nice and deep. Oh, both boys are landing. Jamie Huco, our referee, absolute savage himself. I love the Moe's rocking. <laughs> Beautiful in November. Nice grappling exchange here. Nice sneaky knee to the uh, bread basket. basket. An intense pace as well, isn't it? This wasn't what I was expecting from Angel. A bit of cage work. Oh. He's finding a spot for that right hand. Bit of Dan Seven action going on there. I'd like to see that now, both boys taking a breather. Just a bit of composure again, but Angel certainly walking him down, and then from that, Martin just explodes at him. Yeah, he looks focused, doesn't he, Angel? Oh, oh nice one up the bread basket. A oh, little off balance as he entered there. He's just throwing his whole body at him, isn't he? Oh, he's long, isn't he? Angel's very long. Oh, he's throwing the hands. Yeah, O'Donnell's starting to read some of these punches. I'm liking his head movement. Jamie, what are you seeing so far? I think Angel's got really good head movement. I can tell he's from a, a boxing gym, boxing background. But it's pretty even so far. They're both throwing big shots. Oh, big oh, one landed there. A... Big right hand. Oh, he's recovered well, but... Oh, here we go again. No punches to a ground opponent. He should have stayed down there, possibly. He did well to get back up, though, and he's recovered well from those big shots. 40 seconds to go. Oh, well, he was it. close he's there. turned it there. Jamie Huco was giving him advice there that he had to move. Got to be defensively responsible. The the body. Oh, big uppercut. Are he's we going to see a finish? He's giving you everything. Wow, 20 seconds left. He's still punching. He does not want a way out of this fight. I'd love to up. see that in the young fellas. He's still oh, walking he's him down. Forward. Now he's throwing back. Oh, caught him again there. Oh! oh it's all over. Oh, hold on. End of the round. Oh, wow, end of the round. End of the round. It is wow. so loud in here. I didn't hear it. Me either. I thought that was it. Wow, that's awesome. Wow, it is so what electric round. in here. What a round. Welcome to XFC 53. Wow. Wow. <laughs> To land that punch the on the last still. second. I don't think anybody heard it. Everyone was confused. And again, I love the fact that both corners just prepared to understand. You know, the, the referee's made his decision. He didn't call the fight. It's the end of the round. I've got to listen to him. Yep. So, Huge respect from both corners. So some of the things I'm seeing from Martin, he's throwing that low kick just to bring down Angel's guard and throws a big right hand. That's what led to the first bit of a wobble. But I'm really loving how Angel just walks him down, walks him down. He just keeps coming forward. It's so impressive. He doesn't want to give up. It can be quite tiring walking backwards. A lot of people don't do that road work backwards. So I think C-class fighters need to understand as well that the ground is almost your safe haven as well. Yeah, so if be. you are a little bit rocked, you don't need to get up. Mm. You're actually a little bit safer on the ground. Ooh, oh, big shot's landing again. 
by still coming forward. Oh, I love that. Will Martin. Oh, oh just at the head. Blocked it. Beautiful. And the reason that spinning back kick really came on play is, especially if someone's running to you, you actually get that space and movement for it. Will O'Donnell find this punch that he needs? Look at Angel Lopez refusing to take a backward step. Oh, nice. Two Big up the knees. middle. Three. These are adding up. It's bringing his guard down every time he takes a body shot, which leaves that right side of the jaw. But gosh, he is a warrior. Yeah, O'Donnell's got some power, doesn't he? Every time he hits him, he hurts him. Mm. Oh, nice. Oh. Leading up, leading the hook uppercut. And again, that's that low kick. He's also, Look, as he shitties. throws his punch, <laughs> he just takes his head slightly off, off the center line. Angel was ready. Oh! It's all Beautiful over. shot! What a fight. He finally found a place, a full time home for that right hand. Off the fake as well. He yeah, threw a fake. That was beautiful. And then came over the top. That was stunning. That was a really, really good referee <laughs> stoppage as well. Yeah, good call. What a fight. I think this is the first fight show I've been to where there's been three stoppages and three fights. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Last show of the year, everyone wants to put on a good fight. I'm not <laughs> sure if anyone realised that we actually, uh, you know, we're, we can go three rounds. Yeah. <laughs> a lot I of think it happened at the uh, the last show. I think there was only like one or two fights that went to the uh, the judges. I asked Peter Hickman for a discount. And he still refused. <laughs> And here we go to make it official. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, what a fight! Your referee stopped this fight in round two at one minute and 11 seconds for winner by TKO, Martin the Brain O'Donnell! How enjoyable was that to watch? Bella's going to be happy. She has her win for the red corner. <laughs> She's off the mark. <laughs> Not getting pantsed. I was really impressed with both of them for a debut. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Lifelong friendships now being made in the cage. Martin! Martin, how are you feeling, my man? You're pretty chuffed with yourself, I imagine. Well, of course, man, yeah. It's a bit fucked. Good. Loved it. What a tough opponent. He's just keeping taking shots and winning me down. I'm like, when's he going to go down, man? Well, I got him in the end. It was, it was a close. We actually thought it was ending in the first round. Ah, oh, but life goes on. Things happen. Keep going. Got a job done. That's it. Anyone you'd like to thank? Yeah, I just want to find one of you guys here to see putting this on. Your um, sister's over there. Yeah, I'll get to her. <laughs> I want to find Tribal, Connor, Paul Birch, Vika, all the troops at Tribal. Fucking awesome team. Got me ready for this camp, this fight. And a big shout out to my girlfriend as well for putting up with me through this whole process. And thanks to everybody who came here tonight, all my friends and family. Fucking love you all. And all. Shout out to my, my dad, my sister, brother, mom all back home in Scotland. Fucking love you. And also a little shout out to Nancy and Jimbo back home. Cheers, that's it. <laughs> well, there you guys, give it up for Martin! <laughs> a lot of love in the cage. I was just looking at the small screen and looking for the uh, subtitles, but uh, didn't quite come <laughs> <Yeah>. up. <laughs> yeah, I was like, he doesn't look Scottish, and he starts speaking. I'm like, oh, he's Scottish. <laughs> what a great performance there. Huge smiles on the face of the tribal crew there.